here showed you how to make the SLD for the art flash analysis. Um, uh, for your review, I will um, just conclude that I added a circuit breaker um, in the last video because for the art flash analysis, we need a um, protective element like a breaker. And uh, I fed the current from the load, uh, from the full load ampere of the load that you can see from the Nameplate, so the load current was 65 ampere. So I have set it in for normal current of 70 ampere, and was the most close to the um, actual current of the load. So now we are done, and to run the R flash analysis, we will go to the short circuit analysis option. And to run the short flow analysis, uh, R flash analysis, uh, you have to put a fault on the bus. So I am putting the fault on bus number four. Okay, so now my bus is faulted and. I can click on this um, yellow tab and it will ask you for the PPE approval option. You have to click that OK. And uh, OK. So the limits are shown in here. Um, to maybe some of you will not see all these options. So to enable all the options, go to the display option and take all these things here. Okay, so what are these things? The first thing is the energy level, uh, that is level A in our case. Uh, the second thing is the arc flash boundary, as I have uh, discussed in the previous video, what an arc flash boundary is. Third is incident energy, IE, and the th last is the forward clearing time, and it can be in seconds as well as in cycles. So I prefer seconds, that's why I have done it in seconds. Okay. Um, so now we'll go to the edit study phase and uh, our flash data. So you can see that I have chosen NFPA 70E to solve the standard. standard. But you, if you have data versions, you can also choose that. And if you want to um, add your own data, you can come here and you can um, find your own levels and uh, um, you can click the approve PPE and it will show you that data. Okay. So I can now it is done till here. And now I will show you the bus. Um, okay, so I will click on the bus. It's come to the building, and you can see that uh, all the boundaries are shown here: the limited approach boundary, the restricted approach boundary, and the prohibited boundary. And uh, data options you can choose from here: um, NFP 70 E 2004 standard, so I will choose 2012 standard. Okay. And I will use this typical data. So it updates the data and it also has a user option. If you have the LFPA 2016 or 18 standards, you can uh, go to this user defined tab and you can update this data. And uh, for this R flash, you can see the incident energy, the R flash uh, boundary limits, and the working distance. There is 18 inches in my case. The first fault current is this. Uh, you can even plot this data if you want. Okay. Um, so is, is this is one way of uh, the outflash analysis for the second uh, method. Uh, first I will unclear this code. And now come to this tab that is a yellow button. And you can manually put the fault on any of the bus. As I have uh, selected the breaker for this bus code, so I will put the fault here. It will ask me for the approval. I click it and you can see that the data that was supposed to trip has tripped, so our breaker is working fine. And all the data has been shown here. The fault clearing time is 0 0.041 second and the current is 4.25 kilo ampere on this bus. So this is how you run an R flash analysis on the 